Part two, June 10. This is the challenge part of the, of the uh, pattern or the evening. We were in a side-by-side, -side, which you already know how to get into because you did that at the intersection. We do a basic pattern, bring her around, back her up, pop her out. Triple step, Julie goes by, turn down, picks her up, bring her around, back her up, walk, walk. So the first thing we need to talk about is the pop out. So gentlemen, we're bringing her in, bring her around, back her up. Left hand goes over her head, walk, walk, and we are facing each other. Right, so Don steps in front with his second walk, I step behind, and our shoulders are parallel. Whether they're here or here, our shoulders are parallel, hands are below our shoulders. And from here, gentlemen, we discuss lifting up your left hand and letting your right hand drop and going into your own arm lock. Okay. Triple step. So your left hand is fully extended. From this angle, let's see. Gentlemen, left hand is up, right hand is down. Triple step. So I reach Keep that left hand out. But not right in front of my face. Ladies, what you'll notice, I hope, is that Don moves significantly to the right. I was standing facing him on the walk, walk. Weight is on my right foot. As he crosses, I'm going to reorient myself and end up right here behind his or looking over his left arm. I suspect he does a little more movement than I do on that one. From here, gentlemen, we are going to be doing a triple starting with our right foot. And ladies, it will be your left. And and our hand is actually going to end up thumb down. Triple step. We're guiding out of arm lock. Because the next part is we're going to be turning here, but it's going to be really important to show a thumb, and we'll show that going towards you. So, so if we're standing here, first triple, triple step. we're behind. Second triple, ladies, he's going to be releasing your right hand. I always like to keep connected to his back, regardless of the fact that he's held on to my and he's released my hand. Triple step. You can see that. Now what's happened is he's gotten me to rotate my left shoulder forward. This is actually a prep for the turns I'm going to be doing. So leaders, you can't just go forward and leave your hand right here because I won't do anything differently. She needs to be ahead of us, guys. So we're taking small steps. Triple step, and we're letting that hand go out in front with the thumb down. So weight is forward on my left foot. I'm going to be doing a couple of very small turns, meaning I'm not going to go forward. My feet will actually pretty much come together on a couple of these. Walk, walk. On my second walk, I'm not facing him. I'm facing and him. And you know, we cut left right behind her. I wasn't out here, I cut in. From here, gentlemen, a hand is on her um, shoulder blade. Shoulder blade, and I am curving her in, bring her around, just like we did last time. Back her up, walk, walk. So that's a sophisticated version of that Kmart out that we did for the beginner pattern. Let's do it with our backs to the audience or to the camera. So we are here. This is the end of our first triple weights on my right foot. It's on Don's left foot. It's triple step. Spin, spin, and those are the shoulder blade. Bring her around, back her up, and we're done. Whole thing to speed. From the beginning was bring her around, back her up, walk, walk, handshake, let her by, basic. Bring her around, back her up, left her out, triple step, left her by, spin, spin, bring her around, back her up, and we're done. That's it. And we will see you. Actually, we'll see you tonight with a two-step pattern. Thanks for coming. See you on the dance floor. JulieHine at Juno.com. Bye.